Hello there, today we talk about the book Lifespan, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have To by David A. Sinclair. Watch until the end to learn about how Lifespan challenges humankind's understanding of aging by presenting a cure to aging that is based on extensive research in biology, diet and nutrition, sports and the science of combating diseases. Learning 1. DNA can be damaged and produce zombie cells that speed up aging. Aging happens for a number of reasons and one of them has a lot to do with zombie cells. These cells are essentially senescent, which means that they forgot how to replicate. What's worse is that they're not dead wither, which means that they linger around in our body and affect the healthy ones. In other words, they speed up the aging process. Cells become senescent due to the shortening of the telomeres, or the protective caps of the DNA that occurs when cells divide. Sometimes our body interprets that in the wrong way, thinking that the DNA is damaged and needs urgent repair. During this process, cells are often repaired wrongfully, which leads to cancer. Another thing that can happen is that the system shuts down the process and these cells become senescent or zombie. The trick is to get rid of them, and the current state of medicine fortunately allows for that to happen. Senolytics, or nutrients found in kale, red onion, or capers, are here to help. Another potential solution is to reprogram our cells from the little seed that stayed intact since day one. This is called the Yamanaka method, and it's quite a new technology. Medicine is yet to provide a definitive procedure for this process. Learning to when we don't take care of our genes, they can easily alter. The aging process is a complex process that's influenced by many internal and external factors. Essentially, it's a loss of information in our DNA. The short of it is that our genes lose the ability to replicate healthy cells and as a result, we lose the ability to reproduce good genes. Incorrect gene replication causes DNA to change, which occurs because the body forgets how to reproduce them correctly. During the moment we're conceived, an epigenome is transmitted with information from the cell's genome to our body, which relays that information to the body. This is the cause of the negative effects we see all around us. All of our genes are marked with a gene marking map, which means that every gene in our body is tagged with a tag that identifies whether it belongs to a brain cell, a kidney cell, a liver cell, or any other cell type. Unfortunately, they sometimes forget that and become unstructured cells. As a result, they cannot reproduce anymore, or if they do, they create worse cells. In order to reverse this decline process, we'll have to examine nutrition, the superfoods of the world, what the most longevive populations are doing in order to live to a ripe old age while still active, and how we can use plants to activate genes in a wholesome way. Learning 3. Exercise, sleep and food can nourish your body and prevent aging. The fact that a healthy way of life will keep the body in a good shape for a long time is not a secret. Despite this, you will still end up all wrinkled, senile and aged upon the day you die. According to the extensive research contained in this book, you can avoid that from happening to you. In what way? Take a look at the blue zones for an example. In essence, the Blue Zones are territories such as Greece or Okinawa Island, where people are known for the fact that they are non-agenarians. So what is it that they have in common? Having plant-based diet that has a low meat intake along with a fasting period and living a life that promotes the desired state of stress are all characteristics of this diet. As a result of this state of being, our bodies are no longer obligated to consume large quantities of food but instead must seek survival mode to keep their cells intact, allowing them to stay awake and maintain themselves. It's done through fasting, when your body gets enough to survive, but not too much so that it enters a latent state. There are a number of foods that activate your genes and protect your body from disease. The author highlights red onion, kale, capers and a mushroom from chili that is used to treat an immunostate in which your body rejects new transplants, rapamycin. Then on top of that, a healthy amount of exercise, physical stress and fresh air can make our life more productive and enjoyable. Who would I recommend the book Lifespan to? Whether you're a 40 year old biology professor who is passionate about his field, a 50 year old woman who's uncomfortable with her age and wants to reverse the aging process, 
or a 38-year-old scientist who likes to learn about new discoveries in their field. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. For a more detailed summary, check out Blinkist in the description below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.